So if you haven't been living under a rock for the past year, you'll understand the importance of AI in this day and age. On top of that, a very big part of being a full stack data scientist is understanding machine learning. I've been diving deep into machine learning for a while now, and I wanted to share some ways I've been learning machine learning in the age of AI. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I'm a senior studying data science in college and also a full-time data analyst working for a startup. Part of my day-to-day -day job involves a lot of machine learning to help my company grow and make more data-driven decisions. For those of you who don't know what machine learning is, it's essentially a subset of AI that helps you use data and algorithms to imitate human intelligence. Regardless if you're a data scientist, software engineer, or anything else, machine learning can greatly help you improve your personal life and also your career growth. Again, the whole point of machine learning is to make your life easier through data and algorithms. To do that, it makes sense to use a functional programming language that can support these computations. I personally recommend a language like Python or R. Whatever it is, don't spend too much time picking a language to start with. If you're doing this yourself and want to learn for fun, Python seems to be the better choice. However, if you're in academia or studying statistics, most of my classes and research projects have used R instead. The easiest and quickest way to learn the foundations of a programming language, in my opinion, is by looking up a tutorial on YouTube. There are literally so many videos out there on YouTube that are free that can help you get the foundations or basics down. I personally like resources like Programming with Mosh or Free Code Camp. If you're not a visual learner or prefer learning with textbooks or workbooks, I recommend Automate the Boring Stuff with Python for Python or R Cookbook for R. This is mainly for beginners, so if you already have a high level understanding of data structures such as lists, hash maps, uh, dictionaries, or if you understand object oriented programming practices such as encapsulation, inheritance, uh, polymorphism, then feel free to skip on to the next step. If you're struggling to learn how to code, I made a video talking about how I learned to code and what worked for me. Feel free to check it out, I'll leave a link down below. It's also important to remember that coding for data science and machine learning can be just a little different from other forms of programming. You will most likely be using libraries like uh, TidyR, Dplyr, uh, Pandas, NumPy, Scikit-Learn, Seaborn, Matplotlib, etc. These libraries are essentially just tools to help you clean, format, prepare, and process your data uh, to handle advanced analytics. If you're unfamiliar with these libraries, don't worry, they aren't that hard to pick up. The next thing you will need to learn to understand machine learning is mathematics, primarily calculus and linear algebra. This step tends to scare a lot of people off, but honestly, you just need to understand the basic stuff like uh, partial derivatives, dot and cross products, matrix multiplication, and stuff like that. This will help you understand the mathematics behind machine learning and how things like uh, regression or classification algorithms work. I recommend learning just enough to apply that knowledge you just learned on a project so you can stay motivated and keep going. On this channel, I always preach about learning through applications, so I recommend looking up guided projects on YouTube or using notebooks from Kaggle as a resource. When I first got started, I used to look up interesting notebooks on Kaggle or GitHub, read the problem statement, and try to follow along with the code provided or the sample solution. This helped me understand the thought process behind the code and the questions that were asked to help solve the problem. Here you will understand what stuff like overfitting or underfitting means, uh, what RMSE means in terms of accuracy, and what else you can do to improve your algorithm. Of course, this way of learning is not as organized uh, to those of you who prefer a more structured learning route. If that's you, I personally recommend taking uh, courses like Andrew Ng's Machine Learning Specialization or Google's Advanced Data Analytics Certification on Coursera. I've reviewed both of these certifications, so if you want to understand some of the key takeaways, feel free to check them out. Overall, I think those certifications are a great way to get a high-level overview of machine learning, uh, get your hands dirty with some data, and build your first few predictive models. At this point, you should have a solid understanding of things like programming, machine learning, and mathematics. If you want to go on and get deeper into machine learning, I recommend a few things. First, I would check out Andre Capardi's YouTube playlist on neural networks. A lot of my friends and coworkers have used this as a resource in their learning, and I think he does an excellent job explaining backpropagation and other programming concepts when it comes to machine learning. I highly recommend checking him out as this can help you uh, pursue a career in machine learning or at least provide you the knowledge you need to move on with the next steps. From here, there tends to be lesser resources available, but I highly recommend checking Andrew Ng's deep learning specialization on Coursera. Andrew is a professor at Stanford University and has taught one of the most sought after classes in machine learning there. I plan on doing a review for that course in the near future, so stay tuned for that. At this point, it would definitely be helpful to get your hands on some textbooks or workbooks, so I recommend the Introduction to Statistical Learning from StatsLearning.com. Hands-on machine learning with Scikit-Learn, Keras, and TensorFlow is also a very good choice for my fellow Python users. At this point, you might have an idea of what you want to specialize in. It might be natural language processing or computer vision or something else entirely. As usual, the best way to learn, in my opinion, is through projects, so I definitely would invest some time and energy into a more in-depth project to put on your portfolio. If you're looking to land a job in the field of data, I would highly consider uh, making an end-to-end -end machine learning project. Projects like this will definitely make you stand out and test your understanding of the material. 
At this high level, it might be harder for you to find documentation or resources to help you with your projects. For that reason, I recommend you learn to read documentation at its source. Libraries or frameworks like uh, Ubercausal ML, Facebook Profit, Hugging Face, or many others tend to have very good uh, supporting documentation or even sample work. You just have to dig deep enough to find it. If you still need assistance, try finding support groups on Reddit or Kaggle. Again, if your end goal is to land a job in the field of data, it might be worth it to look into the tools that they use in the industry, such as MLflow, AWS SageMaker, and many others. These tools usually help you save your resources and smoothen your workflow. That's about it for this video. Remember, if you do get stuck at any point, there are tools and resources that you can use to help you out. I tend to use AI as my personal tutor to help answer some of my questions or help me with difficult concepts when I do get stuck. Does it work all the time? No, not really. But the clearer I am with the questions I ask, the better the results tend to be. Even if it can't help you find a solution directly, maybe it can give you an idea of where to look for it. If you guys enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate if you left a like down below. To those of you who are interested in machine learning or career development in the field of data, feel free to subscribe for more weekly videos like this. As always, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to leave them down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.